name's uh, Brian Goldberg, my Chinese name uh, Jin Bo Liang. I'm the owner of uh, Mr. Bing, Lao Jin Jian Bing. Uh, so we are doing a traditional Chinese crepes or Jian Bing in New York. So I'm born and raised in New York, but I majored in Chinese in college as an undergrad. And during that time, I studied abroad in, ha in Beijing and Harbin. Uh, this is uh, 18 years ago, in 1998. So when I was in Beijing at Shou Jing Mao, uh, every morning before school, before Ting Xie, I would uh, eat a Jian Bing for breakfast outside my dorm room. And we fell in love with this food, and we realized that it doesn't exist in New York. And a lot of people want it. It was good. It was good. It was really good. <laughs> Like good texture, good flavor. Mm -hmm. A little bit spicy, but not too bad. It's really good. <laughs> it's very good. You know, 20 years ago, uh, people didn't know what sushi was, or they didn't know what burritos were, or bubble tea. And now all those things are quite, quite popular, quite mainstream. So I hope uh, Jenbing can become something like that, and that we're part of that movement. Yeah. If you have it for lunch, if you have it for dinner, people often want a more filling meal, and they want more meat proteins. So that's when we came up with the idea of adding the Peking duck, kao ya, or the barbecue pork, or the drunken chicken. That's what we do now, because we're, we are adapting a bit to the American taste. But overall, it's quite authentic. I think New York is an extremely good place for a food business to start and to grow. You have so many foodies here, you have so many entrepreneurs, you have so many experienced people in the food business that can help you and work with you in terms of the cooking, the preparation, the, the equipment, the marketing, the legal aspects, the fundraising, the locations, the real estate. I mean, this is a foodie, this is one of the food capitals of the world, right? So you just have so many great people here to work with.